Verde Island Passage, a domestic sea route located between Batangas and Mindoro, where the surrounding waters are murky and ordinary. Its sands are hardly white. The palm-strewn beach looks typical of Southeast Asian shores. A wide rock and coral shelf extends some 500 meters from shore. And above, rain clouds gather, prompting fishermen to take cover under the hoods of their tiny boats. Yet what we didn't know has both amazed and challenged us. For deep in the ocean, hundreds of feet below the surface, life is thriving in an extraordinary way. The waters here are home to an astonishing amount of marine life, with the highest biodiversity of fish species in the world. After an intense 12-year study conducted to analyze distributions of marine species, it was determined that the central part of the Philippines has the highest marine biodiversity in the planet. Here is found the largest concentration of shorefish species the Verde Island Passage. Since this recent discovery and studies by American marine biologist Dr. Kent Carpenter, Global Marine Species Assessment Coordinator of World Conservation Union, and Dr. Victor Springer, scientists have come to acknowledge that this passage is indeed the center of the center of marine shorefish biodiversity. And thus, the Verde Island Passage has since been identified as a high-priority site for marine conservation in the Philippines. The study was mostly limited to uh, an overlap of species richness, so there are more species per unit area in, in the central part of the Philippines than any place else in the world. Yeah, the special thing about uh, the Verde Island Passage is, is that uh, you have uh, so many different species in one small area and uh, it's only really in the central part of the Philippines can you find so many species uh, per unit area. It's really a global heritage that you have right here. I think the best way to think of the Philippines is it should be considered the marine counterpart to the Amazon River Basin. This represents a very special ecosystem. The Center of the Center campaign is designed to raise general public awareness about the importance of Verde Passage in terms of uh, biodiversity, both at the national scale, local, national, as well as the global scale, and also to uh, move people, our stakeholders, into action to participate in uh, uh, conservation efforts to ensure that we uh, are able to, to conserve the uh, rich biodiversity of the Verde Passage for the long term. Yet the knowledge of this fact and the conclusion of our responsibility to preserve our own islands and its life have posed some concerns and questions. Specifically, how can those involved realistically take on the task of conserving and protecting these waters and its interdependent ecosystem? The answer lies in not just one word, but in the hands of various individuals. First, it's people. Verde Island is home to six barangays, or villages, and it is the islanders whose lives are most affected by the surrounding sea. Fishing is their livelihood, and Verde is their home. Second, it's government. Batangas city officials have moved to protect two main areas, providing government support of the conservation programs. Third, are those who come from other lands and countries to explore the underwater world and enjoy its scenery, the tourists and divers. And it is because of them that others around the world will recognize the Verde Passage as an underwater paradise that must be preserved for its beauty. Okay. Lastly, and perhaps most significantly, because they bring together the above groups, are the shareholders in the Passage Project, who have mobilized themselves and formed partnerships to ensure the safety of Isla Verde and all the life within it. This program is called the Verde Island Integrated Conservation and Development Program. Right now, we have a very uh, strong and genuine partnership uh, among uh, three parties, namely, of uh, uh, course, Conservation International uh, uh, Philippine Program, which provides 
uh, the technical supervision to the project. And then we have uh, a local NGO through uh, the first Philippine Conservation Incorporated, which is the implementing uh, 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 partner uh, for the project. We also have a representative from the business community through the first gen. Conservation International Philippines, First Gen Corporation, and First Philippines Conservation Incorporated have united to confront the challenges, which include destructive methods like cyanide and blast fishing, sedimentation or illegal logging and mine tailings. Also, industrial, agricultural, and urban pollution, which we find in hazards such as oil spills, sewage outfall, or marine debris. A closer look at Verde Island shows us conservation strategies being implemented and how people have begun to take responsibility for this national and global treasure. At the office of the City Veterinarian and Agricultural Services, Dr. Loyola Bagi tells us about the two sanctuaries which were established and developed to augment the standard of living for the Verde people. Those people uh, in Verde Island, they group themselves together in order to promote really the Verde Island as an island and their resources to help them uh, attain those uh, sources of living. They really work together and uh, make plan together for the uh, benefit or for the good of the Birdie Island. Why is Birdie Island called Birdie Island? Because it's really very green. People there, as of now, really mobilize themselves in order to make Birdie Island famous island, not only in the country, but in the world. But mobilizing together towards making Verde Island one of the key portions in the city means getting to the heart of the matter, the city's people. Through the implementation of the CREST program in Batanga schools, children are being made to understand at a very young age the importance of the environment and how they can contribute in their own way. At the moment, we have already started by conducting a seminar workshop for teachers and we have the output, the vision action plan. We will see that it will be integrated in the curriculum of elementary schools in this division. The environmental education is very much uh, alive in science, in health and also in uh, agricultural education. We are not only aware of the environmental education and the terrestrial environmental education, but marine life, marine resources. So this will drum up and increase the level of awareness of our students. If we will educate the adults, we cannot change their values. If we will start from the preschool, then they have still considerable minds that uh, are malleable. By that way, I think uh, that is the most effective way. We start from zero to six. They will be much aware of the importance of conserving our environment through envir environmental education. The Batangas Coastal Resource Management Foundation is composed of over 30 industries whose primary purpose is environment protection. The students are involved actually in the sense that uh, they participate not only in this uh, international coastal cleanup but also in the extension services, in the mangrove uh, rehabilitation, cleanup also, uh, greening and uh, cleaning the environment. That's part of the activities being done. The people of Verde Island have worked to raise a standard that encourages beautification in indigenous areas. Here at the Coastal Resources Management Learning Center, the issue of environmental conservation is integrated into song and music, which young children learn to perform. Through teaching them the value of conservation in a natural, creative way, they grow to appreciate and respect their own habitat. Ano, halimbawa, sa mga ang makabayan, may sub, mayroon doong subject na sa iba't ibang anyong lupa. Siyempre, yung mga ilog, dagat o mga kabundukan sa ilog, dapat integrate kung paano mapapangalaga ang mabuti yung ilog, paano mapapanatili nating malinis, ang ating kapaligiran, ang dapat gawin ng mga bata. Inside the island's fishing cove, local fishermen explain how they have been trained in the legal fishing process. We really would like to highlight uh, 
in, in this program, the partnerships and alliances that we are trying to build. The issues and the threats uh, we are facing, uh, or the, the Verde Passage is facing right now, is simply too enormous uh, and very, extremely daunting. We would like to encourage other stakeholders from all sectors uh, uh, in, along the, the passage to more, uh, to more actively participate and contribute to this effort uh, which uh, requires uh, long-term commitment. The area around Verde Island itself are, are all uh, beautiful underwater. Scuba divers can see and snorkelers can see uh, for themselves uh, that uh, there are a group of species down there that make the area um, particularly beautiful and the, of course the best way to uh, appreciate that is to experience it firsthand. One of the issues in the Verde Passage is the disruption of marine life during dives, particularly when corals are removed during anchoring. To solve this problem, a team of environmentalist divers, who also do underwater cleanup, work to position buoys in the ocean where divers may tie their boats to while they explore freely without disturbing the reef. Sa ngayon nga po ay aming pamalitan ng isang nabangga ng pangka. Hindi naman po namin matukoy kung sarila. Ginagawa po namin yan dahil para po may matalian ng mga dumadayo dito ang mga divers para protektahan po hindi sila umangkor dyan para maprotektahan po ang gasang. Mr. Jerry Reyes directs current projects in the Verde Island. He has been diving for over 20 years with much experience in environmental programs, habitat management, and scientific studies. Today, he takes us down into the deep to discover Verde's most prized possessions. CI Philippines, First Gen Corporation, and FPCI have worked together on the Verde Island Integrated Conservation and Development Program to prevent habitat destruction through strict law enforcement and population management. Being one of the country's richest fishing grounds and top tourist destinations means that continued illegal and destructive fishing pose grave threats to the marine resources of the area, whose species include sea turtles and giant clams. Today, we meet with a barangay captain of San Agustin, who is also the law enforcement board chairman. Prior to discussing with him, we found him and the law enforcement volunteers on the island already engaged in a meeting to plan their next strategies for protection of Verde. Uh, yung illegal fishing dito ay yung pamamana sa gabi. Yung nga, nabangit mo, dynamite fishing, using cyanide. Yung, isa namin kinututukan ngayon dahil uh, nasisira ang ating kalikasan. Tulad mam ng bangkang yan, that boat, dududa kami na baka ito, illegal fishing ang ginagawa nila. Sila so, ay so, illegal fishers? Uh, illegal fishers sila. Sa, so bali kami magkakaroon dyan ngayon ng operasyon para maalaman namin kung anong illegal fishing ang ginagawa nila. The law enforcers circle the smaller fishing boat, monitoring their actions closely. Upon being questioned, the fishermen deny any illegal activities. But the village captain knows what clues to look for. Cyanide is hidden at the bottom of the boat, and these seemingly innocent men are soon apprehended and brought aboard the bigger boat. One of the biggest uh, threats uh, the passage is facing right now is uh, solid waste. And a lot of the solid waste come from uh, also, aside from, from the ships that ply the, the passage and uh, and use Batangas as a, as a port. Uh, a lot of the waste are coming from uh, the local households, uh, from uh, from the local communities, from uh, from the tourism uh, establishments in the area. One of the tourism establishments, however, has been set up as an example to others of how to integrate conservation with ecotourism. 
Lito Pastor, president of the Verde Island Business and Leisure Estate Corporation, runs the Verde Island Resort, where many of the divers stop over for recuperation. He talks about his involvement with the conservation program. We uh, practice uh, segregation. We see to it that uh, non-biodegradable are well uh, disposed. And for Verde Island Resort, we really uh, see to it that all the laws are uh, being followed. Like, for example, even for our generators, because the resort is powered by uh, generators, and uh, we have this uh, regular emission test. And our septic tanks are also sealed. And we have this uh, uh, procedure of treating our, uh, our sewage waste. Many individuals and groups have committed to working for mankind to restore the environment for future generations. They have volunteered time and effort to ensure the birth and growth of these projects. And many more too have realized that it is a long-term vision, something which will only happen with the perseverance of individuals taking personal responsibility, changing negative mindsets, forming positive habits, and working towards a lifestyle that promotes and generates not only concern, but hands-on involvement with maintaining rare treasures like the Verde Island. And so, from the children to the adults, the local fishermen to the stakeholders, all must play their part to ensure a long and pleasant life for the nation's national heritage. <laughs>